Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today I'm gonna use a transfer from the new IOD Fall line. I'm gonna do a lot of blending, different for me. Different blending for me. Today I'm gonna use a new blending technique. I hope you guys like it. Hang out with me and check out the new IOD products. All right, we're gonna do that one right there. Let's make that vanity good. I was pretty stoked when I picked up this piece. I like um, pretty much everything about this vanity, but she does need a new look. Let's go ahead and get started with DIY's little black dress. And of course my Klingon S50. That's gonna get me the smoothest base coat I can get. The blending on this piece, I decided to use Wise Owl's Refurbished Gentleman. DIY is cherry picked and we have some faded burlap here. We're gonna use a few different brushes and try not to get this thing too muddy. And of course we have our fabulous magic misting bottle. I decided to try this technique after watching, catching a video on YouTube by Lotus Design Theories. And you know, she had this different way of blending, different from me, and I thought to myself, well, geez, I wanna try that, because who didn't wanna try it, right? Her stuff is amazing. If you guys don't know who she is, check her out. Of course, I had to try it live with you guys. I don't know if that was smart or not, but I did it. I do have to say that learning this technique was not that easy for me. It's a bit awkward and the brush you're using does matter for sure. So I'm using a few different brushes in this video. Um, my Klingon R40 is a nice flat brush, but I found the bristles are too long and they're just too soft. So as I'm doing it, they smush around. No, of my brushes, the next best is definitely gonna be my Wise Owl one and a half inch round brush. Those bristles are firm enough that I can go ahead and do the swirl, 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 tap, tap, tap kind of a thing without them smushing and dragging. So that's my favorite. Unfortunately, I don't have three of those handy to do this whole technique with, so I'm gonna have to make do with the other brushes and hope we can figure it out. determined that I'm going to get better at this technique, guys. I swear I am. Meanwhile, we're just going to keep learning. You remember when you first learned something? I remember when I first used to blend the way that I normally blend. It was really challenging for me. And as you do it, like anything over and over, it just becomes easier. So I'm assuming this is going to be the same technique, just getting that um, muscle memory, that muscle movement and how to get it done. We're just gonna keep trucking along on this guy and uh, I think it's coming out pretty cool, actually. Well, tell me what you think. So it just seems like the more you work with it, the better it gets. Just keep adding color, keep moving it around a bit, just keep going. And you know, I think I like what I'm seeing. So now it's time to do the top. I wanna to do it a little bit different, but same, same. 
and um, just make sure it really stands out and looks super pretty. And what do you know, this is exhausting. Right guys, so this is the new IOD transfer. It is coming out the same day that I published this video. IOD sent me one and asked me if I would like to do a project and make a video with it. And yeah, of course I do. So here we go. We're gonna use this one. It has lots of different pages in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pick out the ones that I want and just cut them out and place them where you want them. We're gonna use the applique stick to rub that sucker on and release the backing film from it till it's permanently attached to your piece. I'm pretty proud to be an IOD stockist. They have quality, quality products that are just beautiful. So if you want any of these guys, you can find them on my website at Windmill Vintage Designs. I just got restocked and I have more coming, so check it out. We're gonna use a super dry brush and just go back in and start highlighting the natural highs in this piece. We're gonna hit all the molding, just kind of make the edges glow. The key to this is making sure that your brush is super dry. You don't want a lot on it or else you're gonna overdo it. So make sure you wipe that guy back a lot. Right, let's seal this bad boy up with Big Top Top Coat. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. Big Top is a nice durable finish. It's water-based, doesn't have an odor to it, and it's super easy to apply. I like that about it. It's not streaky and um, dries fast. We're gonna add a little bit of BAM, a little BAM to our hardware. We're gonna do a couple different things to it, use some magic mixing powders, and yeah, just make the hardware have its own sex appeal. <laughs> Sexy hardware. That's a thing, right? We're gonna add a little bit of BAM, a little BAM to our hardware. We're gonna do a couple different things to it, use some magic mixing powders, and yeah, just make the hardware have its own sex appeal. <laughs> Sexy hardware. That's a thing, right? Right, so we have the wood on our bench all matched up. We painted it the same. Now it's time to dip back into our new IOD transfer. And let's do the fabric on the seat. I haven't put the fabric on yet. This is just white cotton, really nice. But I think we can make it really cool if we just add some bam, some bling, something. We're gonna add something to it. I'm just applying my IOD transfer straight to the fabric just like i would if it was a piece of furniture or a wall or whatever a mirror or anything like that we're just going to cut out what we want place it down and then give it a rub it does take more of a rub for sure but it goes on there now let's go ahead take that piece of fabric and attach it to our bench and what do you know there you go I take out our golden rule. It's a really, really beautiful gold wax and just give this guy a little bit more bling. Highlight some more areas, bring them out and just make her, hmm, I don't know, have a little bit of glam. <laughs> a little glam. 
Well, here she is, guys. What do you think? Make sure you drop me a comment and tell me what you think of this blending technique. Have you tried it before? New for me, like I said. These transfers are so fun. Again, you can find all these products on my website if you want to hit me up at Windmill Vintage Designs. I'm super stoked with this. I think it's really pretty. And you know what? It's sold immediately. That's always a good feeling. Well, guys, that's it. Tell me what you think of this blending technique. Have you tried it before? Do you want to try? That chick at Lotus Design Theories is pretty awesome. Got to give that girl some credit, guys. Go check her out. You can find all of these products on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. You guys are awesome. And remember, only you can make it happen. I'll see you next time.